Small Business Chamber of Commerce, an uh, organization I co-founded 20 years ago. It's hard to believe. Um, let's turn the calendar back one year, if we can. We were all talking about what to do with Santa Cooper and its massive debt, both nuclear and other. And over one year ago, the South Carolina Small Business Chamber of Commerce has a, had a position that we still maintain that we should sell Santa Cooper. We, we did press releases, we wrote opinion editorials, we had town halls across the state advocating for selling Santa Cooper if we could achieve certain goals. One, all the nuclear debt would be taken off the backs of the ratepayer, and hopefully all the other debt could also be removed from the ratepayers. Two, all the money customers had already paid for the nuclear debacle would be clawed back for the ratepayers. Three, electric rates would be reduced going forward. Four, one, hopefully both of the coal plants would be closed and there'd be more reliance on solar and gas. All of these goals have been achieved with the proposal from Next Era. Every one of them. But now Next Era's proposal is being criticized for other reasons. So let me address some of those. The Next Era proposal is not the Base Load Review Act 2.0. 2015, I was complaining about the Base Load Review Act. In 2016, we co-founded the Stop the Blank Check Coalition that was developing amendments for revising the Base Load Review Act so going forward, there would never be another SCG financial disaster. Here were the serious problems with the Base Load Review Act. The Base Load Review Act allowed SCG to increase costs of the nuclear project by billions of dollars and consumers were going to have to pay those additional costs after the plant was built. The next era proposal caps the construction costs on multiple smaller projects that consumers will eventually have to pay. If construction costs exceed the approved dollar amount, next era will be responsible for those costs, not the consumers. Second, the Base Load Review Act allowed SCG to raise rates every year during construction to pay for the financing costs. That will not happen with Next Era's proposal. Consumers will not begin paying for approved construction costs until after the projects are up and running. Three, the Base Load Review Act allowed SCG to recover all construction costs even if they abandoned the project for any reason. While it is unlikely Next Era is going to abandon uh, construction of a solar facility or, or a gas plant, Nevertheless, Next Era would not be able to recover the cost of approved construction projects that are abandoned unless federal law or regulations are changed that would legally prohibit the project from being completed. And if that's not clear enough in the legislation, then you should make it clear. Now, the chairman has always said, and uh, the speaker has acknowledged, uh, that you are addressing the issue of the Public Service Commission uh, not uh, Proving certain things as rates, uh, good. Uh, that was also one of the complaints about the Base Load Review Act. So it's good to hear that you're going to be working with the Public Service Commission and hopefully also the Office of Regulatory Staff on, on construction projects. So you'll take care of the uh, issue regarding return on equity and are construction projects uh, properly uh, uh, evaluated and put into place. So that's good. Um, all right, so let's talk about the staff reductions. Next era's proposal does, in fact, uh, reduce staff considerably. Now, my understanding is that most of these reductions will come from attrition, retirement, not filling existing vacancies, and employee buyout incentives. The net loss of positions is very similar to what happened when the state of South Carolina approved Dominion Energy to buy Scana, the parent company of SCNG. Finally, the next era proposal has been criticized because it would not pay local property taxes on existing infrastructure and not enough money from the sale is going to go to the state. Next era is going to pay the same taxes and fees for existing infrastructure and millions more on new infrastructure. And regarding how much the state will receive from the sale, blame Santee Cooper's past management. They're the ones that ran up billions of dollars in debt 
increase the rates for the project, and put the agency in financial distress. If we sold Santa Cooper 15 years ago, almost all that $9.5 billion offer would come to the same, probably a lot more. If you don't approve the sale of Shanty Cooper this session, I am confident that there will be no reform of the agency. The best business decision for ratepayers and taxpayers is to sell Santa Cooper. Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Any questions, Mr. Now? All right, thank you very much. And last but not least, Caroline Golan from Google.